are. A couple of nice pieces here. Save that one for next. And both of these sellers got them right out to me. Wow. They didn't sit on their product for five days and then. Oh, more popcorns. Uh, let's see here. And in the midst of them, and he's different than he looked online. Might have to adjust the color on the screen of my new to me MacBook. But he is a vintage uh, parachute jumper astronaut. And parachute jumpers have always been of interest to me. Here's two contemporary ones uh, from the dollar store. Battle Force Paratrooper, although I think they're called something else by now. Um, but you can get them for 99 cents. And he looked blue and waxy. And. We'll have to figure out who made him. He's beautiful. Fantastic. Can he stand up? He can even stand up. And that's definitely an Archer or Ajax type pose. And I've got another one coming in too that I hope is blue. Nothing against green or whatever. Oh, yeah. And it all relates. Well, it doesn't all relate back to, but there's also this version here. He goes inside of his space capsule. And I've located a loose example of him uh, with all the paint worn off, and I'm contemplating bringing it home. But parachute jumping astronauts are a priority with me. And we're going to be keeping our eye out for more of them. And let's do this all in one session. Getting ready to depart the Syracuse facility for the Utica facility. And I'm about to make the selection of, of where the next Syracuse home base is going to be and facilitate a move. And I just bought a car too, so my, my collecting budget is, is now next. This turned up. The seller specialized in doll material. And he is a teensy little little thing. Silverized. No markings on the bottom. Kind of a soft rubbery plastic. Flexible. And of course he is all somehow I believe he is part of the space Bucket's legacy, in part because of his, his, his pose, holding out the wrench like that. This is a vintage example believed to be from the 70s. This is a more later example believed to be maybe from the 80s, possibly 90s. Um, and he's, of course, holding his wrench in the wrong hand. Uh, but then again, it... it or, or he's not holding it in the same hand as the others. And it's a more detailed wrench. It's got fittings on both ends. And he's holding, I don't know, a piece of an atom bomb there in his other hand. Um, but the face is sort of reminiscent. Maybe. He fits in with the legacy somewhere, and I'm, I'm willing to bet at my lunch that, that, that he's made in China um, and may have been part of a dollhouse set, since, again, the seller who, who vended it to me uh, specializes in dollhouse accoutrements. And took one look at it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's one of my guys. That's one of my guys. I gotta have that. 